In August 2016, Olympic gold medalist swimmer Katie Ledecky stepped up to the box for the 400 meter freestyle in Rio, and at that moment, I knew I was bisexual. <laughs> It was exactly a day before my birthday when I first saw her. Six foot with a golden bob cut and a body with enough muscles to choke a man. She, she broke the women's world record like it was just a dip in the lazy river. Suddenly all I wanted for my birthday, Christmas, freaking Kwanzaa, was for her thighs to crush my skull. <laughs> Not even all the water in that damn pool could have quenched my thirst. I'm just glad I deleted my Wattpad account before that night, because damn, I had thoughts. I was 18 years old, cuffed jeans, flannel around the race with a rainbow wristband, and the last thing I expected was to get a hard-on watching people on TV splashing around for a medal, but such is life. <laughs> Since that night, her body and her smile were on my mind every hour of every day. When I found myself months later still daydreaming about her and the nights we'd spent together, it clicked that she was more than obsession. She was confirmation that I was queer, that my feelings for girls were real. Because in August 2016, I was a bisexual who didn't feel deserving of that label. My first and only relationship was with a straight guy, and the most scandalous thing we did was kiss in public. <laughs> Relationships like mine were straight passing. What the hell even is a straight passing bisexual? That's like saying I'm a smart passing college student, or that, or that there are red passing Smurfs. I grew up seeing tweets that said bi people in straight passing relationships don't belong at Pride, as if the B in freaking LGBT only matters when we pass as gay. I spent years believing I was only straight until proven queer because I've never dated a girl. To the queers on social media, being bi meant knowing what sex was like in multiple genders, what sex was like at all. Like bisexual and sexually active is the same thing. Just kissing my then boyfriend made my heart shatter. My best friend in the eighth grade gave me butterflies and longing. That wasn't enough to really call myself bi. So I wore the cuffed jeans, flown around the race, the rainbow wristband, because queerness was all about visibility. If I at least had to look, I could prove myself. The internet made me doubt my own love stories. But on that day, sitting on my living room couch, when I saw Katie get out of that pool, water dripping down those jacked muscles, and that smile shining across her face, the sound of my heart beating as loud as the crowd chanting her name, I knew I was bisexual. I knew what I felt for her was the same as with my best friend, the same as with my first partner, and that was just enough. Woo!